At this point, all 50 states in the U.S. have issued states of emergency in response to surging coronavirus cases, which have restricted every facet of our daily lives. But as millions of us are being forced to stay home to help contain the outbreak, just what are our rights? I have legal journalist Molly Barrows with me to talk about that. Molly, you're, you're 10,000 foot on this to start this discussion. What is it? Well, first of all, the Constitution allows states to basically quarantine people if they want to. It's the power to keep us all safe within its borders and healthy and whatever qualifies as being safe. So yes, if you don't listen to government, state orders, whatever level it comes down from, and they can all do it, whether it's state, local, or federal, if you don't listen to their orders to isolate or quarantine and they're federally given, I mean, and they're, um, you know, not not volunteer, I should say. Right mm. now we're just under volunteer mm. isolation orders. If they're not, if they're mandatory. Man mandated quarantine. Then yeah. they can put you in jail. In some states it's a misdemeanor. In others it's a felony. They can fine you. In Wyoming, I think you can be fined up to 10000 No, they put you in jail for a year and another one fines you up to $10,000. Other fines are fifty dollars to $1,000. I think it just depends on the severity of the epidemic. And the last time we saw anything actually regularly or severely enforced, uh, according to the CDC, was the flu pandemic in the early 1900s here in this mm -hmm. country. Mm -hmm. So it's interesting. I mean, our rights are certainly compromised, but it's more about the state of emergency. Yeah, I mean, it's uh, it, with the 10th Amendment, it, it all flows from the 10th Amendment. The 10th Amendment is an amendment of the Constitution that says what the feds don't do can be reserved to the states. Yes. So the, the states have the right, and they actually, more than a right, they have a constitutional duty to protect health, safety, and welfare. And with that duty, for example, in Florida, DeSantis has blown it yes. because he had the right to say nobody on the beach to prevent all the disaster that's going to come from that. It's just, it's just now starting because of DeSantis's bad decisions. DeSantis had the right to say right now airports that are where people are flying in from New right. York and New Jersey. But he told them not to come, Pat. Yeah, They're going to listen. Yeah, exactly. He told them not to come. And, and oh, by the way, when you get here, would you please <laughs> self-quarantine? Don't cough on okay. anybody. So the point is he could have done a lot more, couldn't he? Yes, he absolutely could have. And in fact, the University of Tampa just recently announced that they've got five students who tested positive for coronavirus. And guess what? They were spring breakers. He made the decision to only close two beaches. Now he's being sued for not closing the rest of them. And this is something he brought on himself. So yes, states have the discretion to enforce it, but really at this point, because it's not mandatory, you can make civic decisions like forcing the closure of beaches or having businesses shut down, which is essentially a deterrent to people who want to gather, who aren't going to pay attention like some of those invincible spring breakers that we heard so annoying mm. sound bites from. But, you know, the bottom line is they're putting a lot of the onus on the individual. And like you said, the federal government, the CDC has the power to stop anybody that they suspect of being exposed or coming from a country like China or, you know, other countries where it's been a problem. Well, let me get, let me be clear. They, they can, can detain get, you then. They can get them off yes. of the airplane, detain them, yep. quarantine That's them, right. say, we're going to, you know, you're not just coming here. Here's the point. He can do that with even intrastate yeah. travel. He could do that. New Jersey and New York, is com they're coming down here in a flood. And that's the, the they're, central they're, pandemic. They're trying to get now. away from the pandemic up there and coming mm -hmm. here. DeSantis has no plan. He has no plan. And, well, I, think, and I, don't, I don't think it's just him. I think you have other governors that don't, don't understand or they're not willing to really pull the trigger on this 10th Amendment right that they have to go as far as they need to go. I think you're 100% right, but I'll even occur to me while you were saying that, let's take an even bigger picture point of view. Do you think this is a problem with GOP-led leadership to a certain extent because they're more interested in who's going to not donate to their campaign, make a campaign contribution? Are they going to upset the powers that be at higher levels who aren't perceived as taking it seriously or maybe don't understand it as well? Maybe they clearly don't understand it themselves and it's not an act, mm. you know? So well, I don't know. Well, okay, GOP... Uh, DNC. Right. I mean, I don't really care. Is you, you, have the got, line. you have got a bunch of buffoons right. in this DC bubble right now that are making stupid decisions. And the truth is, we, we, they can't make a decision on how do we help people because yes. the Democrats want to pack it. They want to pack everything up with their green. Everybody with has their, an agenda yeah, other their, than helping. Their green agenda. The corporate. The 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 Republicans want to mm -hmm. pack it with everything that's going to help their corporate friends. And at some point, I mean, there's got to be paybacks for these people that are running and they're going to be running elections coming up. And I, I, I just think we have to tune in to what's really happening here. And we, we don't believe that there is a D.C. bubble that is so restricted in, in their innovative thinking 
that yeah. they can't get past this this deal. You, do you think do you think Pelosi or McC- uh, McConnell? Do you think that they understand? What's happening at America's kitchen table right no, now? No, I don't think. I think they've shown that over and over and over again before this pandemic even became an issue. I think with other legislative decisions that they were making, they basically are not in touch with what's, with what's happening with the American public. They are isolated, and yeah, so is it's a not, bubble. not to drag uh, the mainstream press into it too. But they're reporting on these elite people, and it's all this separation from yeah. what. And this is where you see the rubber hit the road because we're not getting help to the people that are living right. it and breathing and, it and, and suffering and, and because of it. And Florida is responsible for the same thing. Thank you for joining me, Molly. Thanks, Pat.